Um, if you're ever sick of spending money on Starbucks, which I'm sure most of you aren't, I, however, don't have money for that, but absolutely love, like, the style of drink that they have, like, especially their blended drinks. So this is my go-to, for sure. Getting ready to get out of the house. My brothers have a bike race today in Prescott, so we are going to be going to that. It's about, I think it's close to two hours away where the actual race is. Most of Prescott's like an hour and a half from here, but this is on the farther end. So we're gonna be going there. The first race, I believe, starts at 11. So if it takes two hours to get there, we should technically leave by nine. I'm gonna try to get out of here by 8.30. Um, which will basically mean that we're gonna leave by like 9.30. So, um, we're gonna get there as soon as we can. Um, I'd like to get video of as many races as possible like I did last week. So if you didn't see, um, those videos, they are down there. Um, and it's high school mountain biking. It's super fun. I did it when I was in high school. Um, I raced sophomore freshman my freshman year. I raced... JV my sophomore year and then my junior and senior year I raised varsity so it was super fun I enjoyed it but why are you dying no dying those aren't big pieces I made little pieces um, but my whole family's done it my sister who's older than me did it as well and uh, we just did it in Minnesota instead because that's where we lived at the time and so it's like a super super fun event so if you're in high school and your high school has a house mountain bike team or your state has a high school mountain bike league you should really really get into it because it is so so fun and it's it's a little spendy to start with but it's worth it let me tell you and unless you're purposely trying to kill yourself by jumping off cliffs with your bike you'll be good you are not very likely to get hurt at least not to the degree that you can in contact sports like soccer football hockey um even basketball like those types of things and those aren't are those technically supposed to be contact sports i don't feel like those are technically supposed to be contact sports but they are and so yeah we are gonna be headed down there we are getting packed um missy has her breakfast she already ate all her grapes because she loves fruit, but she has some Cheerios, she has some scrambled egg, um, and then obviously I cut her up some grapes. Then for lunch we have, um, I cut up some cucumbers and grapes, and then the other half of the scrambled eggs that I made her, plus some noodles. We have these little fruit, fruit pouches sure yeah um i have some puffs in here i have the mix for the formula for her bottles because i just still use those to fill in um she basically stopped breastfeeding um she just was not interested anymore so we switched to formula and she's been doing formula for a couple months now and it seems to be working out good she's still growing well so I'm happy with it it's just expensive obviously so when she turns a year old that will be out the window well I mean obviously we'll finish up whatever we have left but then we're gonna be completely done with that because it's expensive it's worth the price while they're young um, once they no longer need it not so much Oh, I also made brownies today, or yesterday, for my brothers and whoever else wants them at the race, just because I'm that kind of person. Like, I'm definitely going to be that kind of mom who says, oh, kids, come over, let's have snacks and treats. And I made brownies and cookies, and I'm, I'm going to be that mom. I just, I have to be. And I actually look somewhat decent today. I got these shorts from my mom. She bought them, but she didn't like them on herself. 
so she gave them to me and I love them this is the first time that I've worn them and then I'm just wearing this because it's gonna be a little warm it's cold here it's 60 well not cold but it's not necessarily warm it's 67 degrees here right now but it is also only eight o'clock so I don't really know how much warmer it would be at eight o'clock in the morning when you are at 7,000 feet elevation um and yeah Ooh, this fridge has good lighting I should just do all my vlog or all my talking videos just like right here you can see like <laughs> no. um so I guess that's all I got for right now I does know me <laughs> yeah you started eating them again right as I turned the camera on because before you were just throwing them everywhere all over the counter Y'all, we have candy canes. Don't ask why we have candy canes. We also have candy corn. But candy corn's kind of acceptable right now, I think. Nummy. Nummy. And now for basically my favorite thing ever to make, especially in the mornings, um, or when I'm going to have a long day, minus the days that I wake up at 4.30 because it's kind of a loud process, but um, I'm gonna get going. So, ice cream, coffee, and this is just like normal coffee, but I made it like pretty dark um, or pretty strong because it ends up working in my favor. Cappuccino mix, delicious. Blender out. So I just have a magic bullet um, because it ends up working super nicely because the cups are already normal cup size. So there's that. Um, the lid for the blender. And let's see. Okay. So normally I don't... Should I measure how much coffee this is? Yay. Annabelle says no. Um, I'm gonna guess it's a little more than a cup. Oh, um, just, it's literally a cup. As long as I can pour it all in here. Okay, so a cup of coffee, <coughs> strong coffee, because that will just help um, I do one scoop of cappuccino mix because caffeine on caffeine is life. We do this. This is good stuff. And it doesn't end up needing to be hot. I know, um, if you try to mix cappuccino mix, like, just like with a spoon, with something that's not hot, it doesn't work out so well. But when you put it in the blender, it ends up working out just fine. And then I will do like two or three scoops of ice cream. I know. So this is basically like my comparable drink to like a Starbucks drink. But it ends up being a lot cheaper. So, so I think I'm only going to do two. Maybe one. One more. Okay, maybe that was a little too much because I still want to leave some room for ice. And then sometimes I put coffee creamer in here too, but um, I'm not feeling that much extra sugar today, so we're going to leave it out. Hopefully the lid still goes on. Perfect. All right, this is gonna be loud, baby. Be loud. Plug your ears. I think normally the reason that I put 
extra creamer in it is so it's a little more liquidy so it ends up um so it ends up blending a little bit easier but but it looks like that it's like it's like Wendy's frosty consistency almost and it's Perfect, I freaking love it. All right, so we're gonna put this away, wash this off, and then normally I'll put this like in a cup like this. It's just kind of a struggle sometimes because sometimes it just wants to come out all at once and then it just like splatters everywhere. So hopefully this will not be one of those times, but also, let's see. Try to make it do that. I think the nice thing about this is you can basically, you if you want to put creamer in it, you can use any kind of creamer you want. If you put cappuccino mix in it, there's a lots of different flavors of cappuccino mix, so you can use any flavor you want. And ice cream, you can use any flavor you want, so you can basically make it taste like anything you want. Um, mine's basically all vanilla because that's just what I have here. And you could, honestly, you could use flavored coffee, too. So, all the things that make them taste good. Hey, where did you get that plate? Put it back. <laughs> so, um, if you're ever sick of spending money on Starbucks, which I'm sure most of you aren't, I, however, don't have money for that, but absolutely love, like, the style of drink that they have, like, especially their blended drinks. So, this is my go-to, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> 